hello and welcome to mindfulness and emotional freedom technique um, or, or a variation of i'm going to take you through some of the strategies that i use myself personally but also that i guide my students uh, through at school when we do student 71 sessions um, it's a strategy that really helps to recenter and regulate um, when we're feeling sort of strong emotions or any kind of emotions which is kind of on the more negative side and also um, pain. So it really helps with things like anxiety, which I have. Um, it, it helps for depression. It helps if you've got a pain, you know, whether that's a tummy ache, a backache, a leg ache, a headache. I've also got a headache. Um, and it's really, really beneficial. And it might be something that initially you, you might be a bit sceptical about. Um, I was, um, but I certainly do find that it is um, it's really, really beneficial, it's really helpful. Um, and I've had students as well that have said that they've gone on to use this when they're at home, particularly when they're trying to um, get to sleep and their, their head's just too awake, it's, it's too many thoughts r running around. And it's a, they've said it's a really good way for them just to kind of calm down and be ready for that sort of sleep, that peace. So we're going to start off with some breathing, very simple breathing. And as you're breathing, just kind of take notice of your body, just you know, listen to things around you. You can have music on if you want to. I've got some nice gentle music on in the background. Um, you can even have the lights off. You know, set yourself up so you feel in, an, in a nice, calming environment. Okay. So sitting up straight or standing up, that's up to you. And we breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Good. And in. And out. And again. In. And out. Let's go one more time. Breathing in. And out. Good. And just shake and roll your shoulders a bit. I'm now going to take you through emotional freedom technique, which is also known as EFT tapping or just tapping. And what you do is you actually tap, you press on your meridian points, which is where you have your acupuncture needles. And in doing so, it actually helps to trigger this chemical reaction, which helps to target and help with the things that you're, you're struggling with at that time, be it pain, be it anxiety, whatever it is. So first of all, I'm just going to take you through the routine of how it, how it is and where you need to tap. And then um, I'll do the routine three times and you can um, follow along with me. So the first thing you need to do is just think about what it is that you're feeling in this moment. What are you wanting to address? Are you anxious about something in particular? Are you stressed? You know, are you stressed about um, a deadline, a piece of work that needs to be done and you don't feel you've got enough time? You know, are you really tired? Are you, are you frustrated? Are you sad? Are you cross? Are you in pain in some way? Have you got a tummy ache, you know, or have you got a headache like me? Um, and you just think about that. Once you've decided and, and sort of acknowledged what it is that you're feeling, the next thing is to think, how strongly am I feeling this? So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the strongest, where would you place you for that feeling, for that emotion? So I've got a bit of a headache up here, and I would place that at around just with a six at the moment. Not too bad, but it's also enough to be a bit of an annoyance, um, causing me a bit of pain, as I said. And then what you do is we start off with, with a supporting statement. And we start off as well by tapping on this, this part here about the side of our hand called the karate chop bit. And we would say this, and you can say this either out loud or you can say it in your head, that's up to you. I'm going to say it out loud. So even though I have this stabbing headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then we do that three times. And once you've done that, then we move to places around the face and we sort of repeat those things that we're feeling. Um, and you can kind of go into a little bit more detail about that. So it's your chance basically to rant about how you're feeling, to moan about it, to let it out, to acknowledge it, to get to validate it but to just get it gone. So we start off by tapping on the side here, the inside of your eyebrow, okay? We then move to the outer side here, just at the edge. We then move to underneath the eye, just on the cheekbone. We then tap between the nose and the mouth. 
Don't feel like on this part of the other chin. Then it's the collarbone. Now here, you might not really use your whole hand or you might prefer to still just tap. I tend to use my whole hand. Okay, and then we go to just underneath the armpit. So it's an arm's whip down from the, from the armpit, so about here. Okay, and you tap there. And then we finish off at the top of the head. And the idea is that you can do this for as long as you need to until you feel um, that that number, that initial number of intensity has reduced. So that might be that three, for example, is enough, or you might want to take it all the way down. Um, you know, you might do a few rounds of this and then sort of reevaluate where you feel you are. Has it reduced enough? Do you need to continue? Sometimes it just takes a couple of rounds, a couple of minutes. Sometimes it can take more. Um, it depends on the severity of it and how and how you're feeling at that moment. So I'm now going to take you through the full routine. Um, the way I tend to do this is we start off with the breathing, as we've just done, and we move into the tapping routine. We're going to finish off with the um, breathing at the end again. So we're going to just do another little bit of breathing and we'll follow the full routine through. Okay, so breathing in and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. And one more time, breathing in. And out. Even though I have this stabbing headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this stabbing headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this stabbing headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. This stabbing pain in my forehead, this throbbing pain in my forehead, this relentless pain that just won't go, this irritation I'm feeling because of this pain, this frustration of having this pain, this stabbing pain in my forehead, this ache in my forehead, this stabbing pain in my forehead. Even though I have this stabbing pain in my head, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this stabbing pain in my forehead, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this stabbing headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. This stabbing pain in my forehead, this niggling pain that just won't go, this irritation that I feel, this frustration because of this pain, this stabbing pain in my forehead, this throbbing pain in my forehead, this stabbing pain in my forehead, this needling pain in my forehead. Even though I have this pain in my head, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this pain in my head, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this pain in my head, deeply and completely love and accept myself. This stabbing pain in my forehead, this relentless pain in my forehead, this stabbing pain in my forehead, irritation I feel because of this pain, this frustration that is making me feel, when will this pain just go away? Stabbing pain in my forehead. This stabbing pain in my forehead. And at this point, you can reevaluate just how you're feeling. Mine has reduced. I'd say mine's down to about a, a, a four or three. Um, I could go for longer, but I'm going to show you the next process. Okay. So we're going to do some more breathing just to finish off. So we breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Good. Breathing in. 
and out. And one last time, breathing in and out. And just roll your shoulders one last time. Shake it off and let it go. And as I said, you can do that for as long as you need to. It might take more minutes than we just did there. Um, it might take less. But it's something you can practice at any time, at any points in the day. And the more you practice it, the, the quicker you'll start to feel the, um, the impact that it has. And you may even get to the point where sometimes just by tapping on the side of your hand is enough to sort of start triggering that reaction that's needed. Okay. So I hope that's helped. And um, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.